Hello people, Jen and Polismata here. Today I'll be bringing you a Star Updater UN for the Nintendo 3DS. So, first of all, what is Star Updater? Well, if you don't know what Star Updater is, it is an updater for Luma 3DS, which is um, a custom firmware for the Nintendo 3DS. So, Star Updater is... Uh, an updater for Luma 3DS. You can update straight on the. You can update. Uh, oh god. You can update uh, right from the console. So it's made by ast astronaut level. And yeah, here it is. Star Updater UN is my own fork of Star Updater. Uh, it. Uh, but. Every change will hopefully be part of the official Star Updater, but yeah. So uh, if you go check the releases of Star Updater, yeah, you'll have you'll see that the latest version is the Luma six point one point one patch. Star Updater Star Updater one point five point two, uh, UN stands for an official. So this was released 14 days ago, but I haven't shown it yet. So, um, first of all, I'll have you know that this build is independent from Astronauts. And the only thing that it gets from Astronauts server is the, well, the compiled versions of Luma 3DS. Uh, this fetches everything from my own site, just 2012.xyz. So the changes are, uh, first of all, the updater for people who use the 3DSX version, aka aka menu hacks uh, users, for example, I guess. Uh, it actually works as it was intended to, to in the first place. I originally made it only update the script, but now it updates the single file, the file that it needs. This is also achieved by no longer relying on uh, an index script it's actually bundled uh, with the executable files, so it's a single file. The updater no longer requires any other files except for the icon, but even that could be embedded, but that's not necessary. Anyway, dev mode support was removed as there are no longer two different builds of Luma 3DS. Luma 3DS only has one build now. And there are two modes, I'll explain them when I show them on the 3DS, uh, two menu hacks modes. So, yeah, uh, that's essentially it. I'm going to start it and I'm going to show you. So this is my old 3DS. This is the regular, well, the regular old 3DS. So as you see, it is running Luma 3DS 6.3.1. It's the latest stable, as far as I know. Anyway. Let me just start that. Hit start. So uh, the reason why this uh, what? Oh crap! I've started Howard Glass Nine. You can kind of ignore that. Pretend that never happened. Anyway, let me just focus. Uh, sorry if the camera isn't the same. Uh, but my Galaxy Tab S doesn't have power right now, so I had to record with my Surface. So, I can see crap. So, the application itself, uh, the um, UN version, has the same title ID as the official one, so it will replace it if you have it installed. Um, but yeah, it's the same banner, same everything. So, let's start it. Okay, so as you see, a few modes have been removed, uh, actually just one, the dev mode option has been completely removed. It n is no longer part of everything. So, uh, but now the new stuff, that actually, that those two menu hacks mode, so ARM9 loader hacks mode only updates the, well, the payload that is written here which can be either arm9loader hacks or arm9loader hacks si.bin 
or um, any other custom mod that you set through a config file. Now, if we use a uh, install install mode, menu hex one, it will replace um, both the ARM nine loader hex payload, which is now required by every single um, Luma three DS um, configuration, as Luma now well boots the payload, and yeah, it always boots from that location, regardless of you having. R9 loader hacks installed or not. So, um, yeah, this one will replace the Luma 3DSX file in this location, so inside the 3DS folder. And menu hacks mode 2 will actually replace, only replace the boot.3DSX file. So if you use that, if you mm, if you use the Luma 3D Luma 3DS um, uh, binary, if you boot it through the through menu hacks, but you boot it directly or something like that, if you boot it straight from that path, you can do that. You can use that. So other than that, it's the exact same thing. You can see that the latest available updater is 1.5.2 UN. So uh, once um, Astronaut launches his official updater, uh, does an official release of uh, his fork, not his fork, his, uh, well, it's a fork, I don't know. So uh, once he releases um, an official update to Star Updater, uh, I will, this update, the updater option will link to his version, so it will, you, if you use UN, you just have to update and it will work just fine. So... Let's just update to the latest Harley build. Harley. I don't know how to read that. Is that how you read that? It's a nightly. That is done every hour or so. Okay, so. So Luma has been downloaded, blah, blah, blah. And now we can just do that. And it will work just fine. I'm holding select, by the way. There we go. It boots fine. Actually, this was the latest version. I'm so dumb, but yeah. So as you see, well, I'm pretty sure that is the same version I had before. So I had the latest nightly ver uh, Harley version. Okay, I didn't know that because I usually use Corbinix, so I end up not knowing that. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more. See ya, and sorry for the quality again, because really I didn't expect it not to have power. But, yeah, that was it for today. Bye!